He said that I was a jihadi. He called me a terrorist, a bomb maker. And he told me to get the F out of here, go back to my country. My name's Tasnim Nazir and I'm a journalist and author and a mum of five. I still remember the day as if it was yesterday. I had a really great day with the kids. We just went out to the shops and a man uh, approached me and my children in Glasgow city centre and he started insulting me and calling me names such as terrorists and telling me to take off my hijab. And my children who were all with me at the time were obviously very frightened. I could think of was just getting them away from hearing all the abuse and what was going through my mind was I've just got to protect and shield them from this guy and I was trying not to cry so and trying to be strong and, and keep push the tears back so that my children wouldn't be any more disturbed than they already were. I remember seeing my, my little ones faces and they were just they looked so scared and then my youngest who was about um, two years old at the time, he started crying, and it was it was it was just horrible to see that fear, that they thought obviously that this person was going to harm me. But he continued to follow me, um, even when I tried to move away and disengage with him. He continued to keep following me. And it was at that point that a man came and told him to stop it, and he was just a passerby who happened to see me at that moment and probably saw the fear in my eyes and, and my children crying and I can't thank him enough for stepping in at, at a crucial point when I just felt that this other guy could have taken a swing at me and I think that it was, it was mainly due to his ignorance and the representations he's seen of Muslims on TV and in the media that uh, drawed him to that conclusion that we all support terrorism, which is far from the truth. I just wish he had naturally known that I do so much work that to counter terrorism. I write articles in my capacity as a journalist and just the week before actually I had wrote against the terrorist attacks, condemning them and, and calling for more to be done against terrorists. But unfortunately, the guy took my most visible article of faith and used that to reduced me to feel like I was nothing. And I feel that if he had the time to get to know me, perhaps he might have not reacted in such a way when he saw me. What I'd like to say to the guy that helped me that time is thank you so much for being there for me and my children. You didn't even know who we were, but you took the trouble to step up. And it shows that we can all come together and help one another against all forms of hate. It just restored my faith in humanity.